What is up Gunpla Modelers? This is Jim and I thought I'd do a little uh, start of my new next project for what I plan to do for next year. Uh, <laughs> I know it's a little, earl little early to do it but you can never be too sure or never too early. So my next project shall be this guy. The 100 scale Master grade Tolkien's. I got this in the mail from Amazon.com for a pretty decent price, uh, a lot less than I was I expected to be honest, and I'm very happy with getting it. I've this is one of the kits that I needed to complete my collection, and I also have the Proto Zero Wing Gundam that I'll probably do in the future but this is one of the kits that I wanted to build because this just looks so cool uh, this is going to be painted of course uh, but I'm not going to use these colors per se like the backpack here I'll change this up because I really don't like how dull it looks I want a little bit more pop to it but I like how the wings are on here though but yeah, it talks about everything you get in here. And on this side, it just talks about the uh, glory to you, uh, frozen teardrops with the glory of the user, losers. Uh, all the suits are part of the Oz group. And it talks about endless waltz itself as well. So, and this kit normally goes for 3,800 yen. You guys probably seen enough of these unboxings. If not, here we go. Your A plate consists of your clear parts, your yellowish orange here, and the only red parts of the kit, plus beam savers. Next plate here, you got like a medium gray parts, along with a navy blue and white. Next day, you got more for the white and started the inner frame with the decals, which I will not be using. You'll see why in a minute. Next day, you got more inner frame parts with the weapons as well. And you get a nice little spring. There we go. For the uh, Dober gun. Oh, yeah. Off white or light gray for these parts, and more of the inner frame with poly cats, and more white with more inner frame. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be continuing doing, or this is what I'm gonna work on. Uh, I actually got something in the mail today that will be going for it. Uh, I've already checked this and it is, they look great. Uh, I got these. You wonder why they're, they look a little distorted. There's actually a, a protective film on top to protect them. But these are the uh, Samuel decals for the Talkies. So, yes, I will be water, using water slides for this kit. This will be my first time doing this. For this kit. I've done water slides before but I wasn't really proud with some like on my uh, Yamato or my uh, Cosmo Falcon I should say I wasn't really proud with that but now I'm excited to do this but before I even start uh, before I even start there's also a little something I wanted to Discuss. Uh, something a little bit wing related and also build fighter related. Uh, about two weeks ago, I went to Virginia. I was helping out a friend with a personal thing, and he saw that I bought the uh, Gundam Fenice with the uh, New Year Hopper. And I finished it. I actually like this kit. It's actually really nice. 
Uh, this is actually my first, uh, yeah, I think this is actually my first kit that is not a, like, a support type of kit that I bought before. It's, uh, made of, uh, UC. So this is actually a really neat little thing. This bar does move back, but it's better to have it for for stability. But we're not here for this guy. We're here for the tall geese. And and actually going off the subject, uh, I actually want to thank someone for getting me this a couple weeks ago. I was trying to get one of these, and I've been having so much trouble trying to get them. And he was able to go to Gun Planet, pick it up for me. And I was able, I paid him for it. I paid for the model and a little bit extra to, for his troubles. And also ship it, I think. And yeah, he, I got the uh, RB79K ball from the MS083 series. Uh, this is going to actually be used for my next mosquito con uh, project. It's going to be secret for now uh, until I will tell you guys. But in addition to getting this, which is a nice little kit, I also got this in the mail a couple days ago, and I got the uh, the decal sheet for it. I got it for like six bucks off of eBay, so I was really happy to get that. And this kit's really simple, a really simple kit to build. Looks like uh, not that many parts, or there's a lot of parts, but it doesn't look like it, but it looks great, so I'm gonna have fun with that. And along with this being another kit that I got, uh, I actually got some supplies recently. Oh, I got this one a while back as an Easter present. I forgot to mention it in one of my videos, but my family got me this as a little Easter present, like because I really didn't. I Try not to. F I'm old. I don't care. Uh, I got this as a little Easter gift from them, and it was cheap, I guess, but very useful. They got me this, a uh, airbrush holder, for when I'm doing my project. So I really am excited to use this. It'll kind of replace my. Uh, it'll also keep my jar that I hold my airbrush in, but. This will hold it much more secure and easier to work with. And I finally also got something else that will be helping me out with this kit. And it will be this. I bought a pack of these. They were like 8 bucks for like 25 And yeah, for 25 bucks, we're getting eight of, uh, 25 of these. Or eight bucks for getting twenty-five of these, I should say. If I food bar that, uh, it was kind of steel, so why not? It was through Amazon, and the only negative I gotta say about this is that you gotta build it yourself. All twenty-five of these, you had to take the red sleeve off, take the clip, and put it on the bamboo stick. You have to do that twenty-five times. You can also, they also sell the uh, fifty variety for like 12 foot bucks but I think I'll be right with this for now or with the ones I have for now but yeah so uh what do you say we start this project off with a bang so let's, let's start building the master grade excuse me master grade tall geese